So in example 5, we're going to use Runge-Kutta with step size h equals 0.1 to estimate y of 0.2 in the initial value problem y prime is equal to t squared plus y squared and y of 0 is equal to 1. Now, I want you to remember, this is the same initial value problem that we studied in example 4. So we're going to use our answer from example 4 to solve this. If you haven't just watched example 4, just go back and check that out and you'll uh, see where we're getting our starting point for this, uh, for this example 5. So let me remind you of our Runge-Kutta equations. Tn plus 1 is equal to Tn plus h. Yn plus 1 is equal to Yn plus h times k1 plus k2 over 2. And my k1 is equal to f of tn yn. My k2 is equal to f of, this is where it gets complicated, tn plus h. And yn plus h times k1. So we're going to run this algorithm for this initial value problem, but we already did the first step back in example 4. So let me go ahead and copy down the answers we had from example 4. I'm not going to calculate those from scratch. If you want to see where they came from, just go back and watch example 4. You'll see everything there. So what we had there is uh, T1. We already figured it out back in example 4. T1 was 0.1. And our y1, figured out last time, was 1.111. So we're going to use those to take this uh, one more step. So our t2 is t1 plus h, so that's uh, 0 0.2. 0 0.2. And now I'm going to find my k1 and k2. So k1 is f of tn yn, so that's 0 0.1 and 1.111. Now, my f function is given by the differential equation right here, t squared plus y squared. That's f right there. And so this is point, point 0.1 squared plus 1.111 squared. And uh, I don't think I want to do that by hand. I'm just going to plug that into my calculator. So uh, point 0.1 squared plus 1.111 squared is 1.244321. 1.244321. I'll save that as a number in my calculator. K2 is f of tn plus h, so 0 0.2. And now my yn, that's y1, so 1.111, plus h is 0 0.1 times k1, which is 1.244321. So this is f of 0 0.2, and I'm just going to do some calculations right there. Uh, so it looks like I've got 1.235 here. So I've got 1.235 here, and if I plug that into f, I've got 0.2 squared plus 1.235 squared. And again, I'm going to uh, calculate that out on my calculator. And I see I get 1.566. 1.566 for my K2. Now I'm ready to drop all those numbers into my formula for y n plus 1. Find myself a y2 is y1 plus h times k1 plus k2 over 2. And so my y1, where'd that go? That's uh, 1.111. 111. Now my h is still 0 0.1. And my k1 is 1.244. Uh, my K2 is 1.566. Got all those numbers saved in my calculator now. And now I'm just going to simplify the decimals. I think I'm definitely going to do that on my calculator. So plus uh, 
1.244321 divided by 2 times 0.1 um, plus 1.111. So what I'm getting on my calculator is 1.25 one, five, three, and there's some more decimal places after that, but uh, let me summarize here. T2, Y2, according to what we just figured out, where's T2? T2 is right there, Y2 is right there, so T2 is 0 0.2, and Y2 is 1.25153, and that is my answer as my estimate for y of 0 0.2. And that's what we were being asked for in the problem. Check this back out. So that is, um, that means I'm done with the problem. Uh, but let me go ahead and go back and make sure that all the steps are, are totally clear there. We started out with the generic Runge-Kutta formulas. Copy those down from the second slide of the lecture, Tn plus 1, Yn plus 1, and K1 and K2. A little bit complicated, but not too bad. Um, and remember that this was the same differential equation that we had for example 4, and we already did the first step of Runga Kota in example 4. So that's what I'm doing right here, is just uh, taking my answers from example 4. You can go back and watch example 4 and see where they came from. And then we're going to run with those answers and run Runga Kota one more step to get uh, to get to point 0.2. So T2 is just T1 plus H, that's our 0 0.2. And then I found K1 and K2 using these formulas here, K1 and K2. And I plugged in all the values with, uh, let's see, that's T1, that's Y1, uh, that's uh, T1 plus H, and that's Y1, that was my H, and this was um, K1. And then to calculate f of those values, I'm running t squared plus y squared. So that's why I'm doing 0.1 squared plus 1.111 squared. And here I'm doing 0.2 squared plus 1.235 squared. So I calculate out those decimals and I get uh, k1 and k2. And then I drop those in the formula for y2. Drop those in right there. Multiply by h is 0 0.1 and I still have my y1. So there's y1, there's h. Remember, I'm using this formula right here to figure out uh, y2. Drop in all those decimals, and I just simplified those decimals on my calculator. I didn't think uh, there's any reason to do that uh, on the screen. So we get 1.25153. That means my t2 is 0 0.2. My y2 is 1.25153. And so... Since I've gotten to the value of t that I was asked to find in the uh, in the prompt, or, the, or rather that I was asked to find my estimate at, um, I'm just going to take the y value at that point and offer that as my estimate of y of 0 0.2. So my final estimate there is 1.25153. So that's the end of this lecture on Runga Kota Order 2 techniques, also known as the Improved Euler Method, if you've seen it called that, maybe in a class or in a different textbook. Um, that also wraps up our chapter on numerical techniques. When you can't solve a differential equation analytically, you try to use one of these numerical techniques, Euler's Method or Runga Kota Methods. Uh, so we're going to wrap up this chapter, and uh, that puts another chapter of differential equations into the books. So I really appreciate your watching. You've been watching the Differential Equations lectures here on educator.com. My name is Will Murray. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.